If your website has any tools or calculators or something that's engaging for your audience to interact with, sometimes that can actually help you get a conversion because your audience is sticking around your website even longer. Now you might be thinking that sounds great, but I don't have a lot of HTML coding experience to make something like that happen. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can create tools like that for your website with literally zero HTML coding experience. My name's Scott Redgate, I'm an online marketing coach. Before we dive in, make sure to grab my free seven day online marketing jumpstart doc. This doc is super helpful if you're just getting started in your business journey, or even if you've been around for a while and you're looking for ways to level up your business through online marketing. You can get it at scottredgate.com slash jumpstart and I'll leave a link in the description below. Hey friends, so I wanna share with you something that I recently did on my website, and then I'm gonna walk you through the steps for how you can implement something like this on your website. Now, full disclosure, I am not a coder. I always tell people that I can read HTML, but I can't write it, and I would actually say that that's a bit of an exaggeration. So if you ever hear the words HTML coding or CSS, know that I am in the same boat as you in that my experience is very limited. But even with that limited experience, it doesn't mean that we can't create really cool and helpful tools and embed them on our website, and we're actually going to do it using AI. So I recently released my first product, it's the AI Online Marketing Playbook, and I'm super excited about it. And in this playbook, I go over 60 prompts that you can use to help you throughout your online marketing journey. And now this is something that I just started doing now, where I'm actually using this to create tools that I embed on my website. Okay, so this one right here, it's called the PPC Title Case Converter. And what if I told you that this only took me a few minutes to create this entire page? And I'm gonna walk you through the steps to create a similar tool. What this does is you can enter in any sentence. So if I say, buy now, for example, you can click this button right here that says convert to title case. And this is going to capitalize the first letter of every word. And then from there, you can copy it and you can paste it wherever you would like, whether that's Google Ads or maybe you're creating a headline on your website. This is nothing super complicated, but this did require some coding behind the scenes to be able to create and then embed on my website. So for you and your website, maybe there's something helpful that you can create for your audience. Maybe it's a calculator. Maybe it's something like this that manipulates um, spelling or or capitalization or something along those lines and you want to be able to create it but you don't have a lot of a coding experience that's all right let me show you how you can do it using AI all right so the tool that we're going to use for this is Google Gemini my favorite AI tool is actually Claude AI there's also chat GPT but I, I feel like Google Gemini does a pretty good job when you ask it to do different coding tasks and so what I want to do and create on my website today is something that can help businesses understand a breakdown of how much they should be spending on SEO and PPC in their marketing. And so we're actually going to create a tool to do that using AI. So I found this article here and it's from smartinsights.com where they talk about the percentage of budget that businesses are allocating for SEO and allocating for PPC. And while every business is different, we can at least create a tool that gives people a ballpark number for around how much they should be spending for their SEO and PPC. And so that's what we're gonna do. We can take this information and create a calculator of sorts inside Google Gemini. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually come into Gemini, which is one of my favorite AI tools when you're coding. Uh, my favorite AI tool for text generation is Claude AI followed by ChatGPT, but for coding, I really like Gemini. And I've already created a prompt, I'm, I'm gonna paste it here, and please don't let this overwhelm you. It is rather long, but I'll read it right now. I want to create a calculator to embed on my website. I want to help businesses understand how much they should invest in SEO and PPC. Typically, businesses spend 10% of their overall sales on marketing. 80% of that marketing spend is on online marketing. And then in online marketing, three-fourths is on paid advertising and one-fourth is on SEO. Create a tool that I can embed in a single HTML editor where businesses input their revenue and you can calculate how much they should spend on overall marketing, online marketing, PPC, 
in SEO. And so yes, this is a super long prompt, but as you can see, I was just kind of talking out the scenario with the AI, and now it's going to do the work behind the scenes to create a calculator. So if you wanna create something like this for your business, don't feel like you have to use the stuff that I wrote word for word. I'm really just having a conversation here with the AI and telling it what I want to create. Okay, so now that I have that prompt, I'm gonna enter the prompt. All right, so it's finished and it's created some code for me. Um, it's got the HTML structure here, some CSS styling for the design, and then it's got some JavaScript behind the scenes. Now for my website platform, I have a single HTML editor that I'm gonna need to paste the code into. And so I don't want it to break it down into three separate sections. So I'm going to refine my prompt and I'm gonna say, can you please give me the code that I can input into a single HTML editor? I use Kajabi as my website platform and it will all be within the body tag. All right, so Gemini has finished here and it's given me the code right here. Um, and let's go try and see if this thing actually works. And so with Gemini, there's a copy button here at the bottom. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm gonna go into my website platform, which is Kajabi. And in Kajabi, this is just like a lot of website platforms. They have this HTML editor section here where you can just type and it'll code it for you. But what I'm gonna select is this source code option. So then I can simply paste in what Gemini just gave me. All right, so I did that. And this is looking good thus far, but let's actually test this out and see if it works. So I'm gonna save this as an unpublished blog post, and then I'll fill in the title and meta descriptions and all that stuff later. But let's actually go in and preview this page to see if the calculator actually works. All right, so let's say your business makes $500,000 per year. All right. The overall marketing budget that it has set is $50,000. The online marketing budget is $40,000. PPC budget, $30,000. And the SEO budget is $10,000. Now that does look consistent with the percentages that I gave it before, because I said that overall marketing budget is 10%. Um, and then of that, four-fifths is for online marketing. And then of that, three-fourths is PPC. And one-fourth is SEO. And so those results were good, but there's a couple minor adjustments that I wanna make. I wanna make sure the results have dollar signs and also every third zero is separated by a comma. So I stopped the recording and I went into Google Gemini and I refined the prompt and asked it to add dollar signs and add commas. And then it gave me a new text block down here. And so I did the same step that we just did and I copied this and I went back into my website editor and I pasted in the new code and let's save it and let's see if it was able to do as I asked. So now we'll do $500,000 and it says overall marketing budget 50,000, online marketing budget 40,000, PPC budget 30,000, SEO budget uh, 10,000, it does have the dollar signs and the commas. And so this is a super basic calculator and now I can take some time and if I wanna do some stuff with the design of it or with the headings or whatever, I can. But the fact of the matter is I just created a quick calculator without any HTML coding ability and I did it using AI and it only took a few minutes for me to be able to do. And so now that I have this functionality here, I'm gonna take some time, I'm gonna create an article around this, and I'm gonna add some images, and I'm gonna spruce it up just a little bit. But the fact of the matter is, I was able to create a calculator without any coding skills and do it in a matter of minutes. And so I hope this gives you confidence in your online marketing journey as you're looking to create valuable tools for your audience.